Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. This chart presented to lawmakers shows there are 10,000 fewer people working for state government now than prior to the pandemic. Nearly one in five authorized positions is vacant. The burden has been particularly hard on agencies like ARC of Florida, which serve the most vulnerable. It's really horrible right now. We need 174 DSPs to operate safely and we're 66 short. Pre-pandemic, an average of 44 people applied for a job posting. Today, it's just over 11. Filling the talent pool is critical. Juvenile justice is also having retention problems. I've heard of people leaving detention to go work at the car wash across the street, is that correct? I would say that is an accurate statement, yes. Okay. And if there's any good news here, it is that lawmakers have just been told that they're going to have an extra $4 billion to spend over the next two years. But House Democrats say starving government has been the Republicans' way since Jeb Bush. He said he wanted to see state government buildings empty, um, and this is a continued drive towards that. But for ARC and other agencies, understaffing is not a viable option, and care is suffering. The people that are most vulnerable are really losing out here because the providers just don't have the staff to safely take these people in. And while the governor's promise raises to move people toward a $15 minimum wage, even $15 an hour these days is not filling the vacancies. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Mathalinda.